Hi everyone, my name is Grant Caillouet and I currently serve as a president of the Late Voyagers. The Late Voyagers is a group of selected students to be ambassadors for the college. Today we're doing this tour uh, simply because we want to take all the precautions we can um, with the surrounding COVID-19 virus. Um, as you can see right now, I'm alone, so I'm going to go ahead and take my mask off. Um, but today we're right now uh, at Martin D. Wooden Hall. Um, Martin D. Wooden Hall is the home base for all the College of Ag. Uh, we have our Dean's Office, our Student Services, our Agriculture Economics and Agriculture Business is all homed in this building, as well as experimental statistics. So let's go check it out and get more history on the College of Ag. All right, now that we're in Wooden Hall, to my right of me is the College of Agriculture History Wall, which highlights some key points in our history as a land-grant university, uh, which we still continue to fulfill today. Um, here at the College of Agriculture, we are very proud of our cultivating of a, a diverse and inclusive environment. Uh, one of the ways we do that is through our Manners Chapter, or Minorities in Agriculture, Natural Resources, and Related Sciences. Um, as well as our Manners Chapter, we are also very proud of our growing alumni base, which spans across the country and continues today to support our students and the research that goes on here at LSU. Um, if you follow me, we'll go learn more about our study abroad opportunities. One of the initiatives here in the College of Agriculture is to provide a diverse learning experience. And one of the ways we do that is sending our students abroad. Um, anywhere from sending nutrition students to Greece to learn about food and culture, um, or sending natural resource ecology and management students to Mozambique, uh, we really try to provide a, a study abroad program for each and every major. Um, these study abroad opportunities can range anywhere from a semester uh, to a full year. Um, so with that, we also try to provide uh, as much help as we can in terms of scholarships and resources. Um, now, let's go check out our student services. Now that we're outside of Martin D. Wooden Hall, up the steps to the right of me is our student services. Our student services aims to assist students from orientation up into graduation. If you have any questions about any academic issues, want to add a minor, or anything along those lines, uh, please go and talk to the student services because they are there for you. Now let's go check out the quad. So now we're in the quad, which is one of LSU's staples. LSU is deeply rooted in agriculture, and in fact, one of our first female students drove nine head of cattle up to campus to pay for her tuition. Now, we can't do that today. However, with our wide alumni base, they present very many opportunities for scholarships for the students at, in the College of Agriculture. Also, one of the staples that I want you to notice is all the great live oaks here on campus. In fact, we have about 1,300 live oaks, which is almost the exact amount of number of students that we have here in the College of Agriculture. So, let's go learn more about the College of Agriculture majors. Now, as we make our way through LSU's campus, we find ourselves here in the Art Quad, where many art and design students display their great pieces of work. Much like their diverse pieces of work, LSU offers 400 clubs and organizations that tend to many different student interests um, across campus. But uh, with the College of Agriculture, we have over 25 clubs and organizations that tend to your specific majors. So anywhere from nutrition and food science to animal science, we can find something that tends to your needs. Now let's go check out animal sciences. Now behind me is Francione Hall, which houses our meats lab. Now many people don't know this, but 10 minutes from campus is where we raise many different types of livestock so our students can get a very hands-on experience. This experience has continued into Francione where some of these animals are harvested and then sold in our dairy store. Now this demonstrates our emphasis on conception to consumption in animal sciences. Now let's go check out the animal science labs. So now we've arrived at our food and animal science laboratories. On the first floor of this building, which is one of our newest on campus, we have the demo kitchen where many students can come and demonstrate their skills that they've learned in the classroom in terms of food science. The rest of the first floor houses lots of laboratories uh, devoted to food and animal science research. On the second floor, you'll find faculty and staff from animal and food science programs, um, which you can go to for advising for any sort of questions that you have about any of your classes. Um, and also just any general questions. So um, as we move on, we're gonna head to the Human Ecology Building for our textiles, apparel, and merchandising and nutrition science. So now we've arrived at Human Ecology, which houses two majors here in the College of Agriculture. The first being textiles, apparel, and merchandising. On the first floor, you'll find classes dedicated for fashion design and apparel merchandising. 
Also on the first floor, textile apparel and merchandising has a museum of over 15,000 pieces uh, that they contain a rotating exhibit um, throughout the school year. On the second floor, we house nutrition where Ms. Myhan spearheads a couple different programs. Uh, the first being her food lab, which students learn how to prepare nutritious and healthy meals. Um, the second being our community outreach program called Ingredients for Hope, where we cater to single mothers in the Baton Rouge community uh, to cook affordable and healthy meals for their families. So now we're at J.C. Miller Hall, which houses two of our majors here in the College of Ag. The first being Agriculture Extension and Education, uh, which produces many different communicators and educators for agriculture in the state of Louisiana. In our plant and soil substances major, well, we cover all of our plant-based majors and concentrations. Um, in fact, by the UREC, uh, we have Hill Farm, which contains many different greenhouses and planters that allow our students to get hands-on experiences that they wouldn't otherwise be able to get. Next, we're going to go out to Surges Hall. Now we've reached Surges Hall, which houses our environmental management programs and soil testing labs. Um, these students are very passionate about preserving the environment as well as maintaining natural resources for the future generations. Um, next, we're going to head to our Renewable Natural Resources building. Now we've made it to Renewable Natural Resources, which houses our Natural Resource Ecology and Management majors. Uh, this is what we like to call the classroom without walls because of all the unique uh, outdoor and wildlife activities that these students participate in. These students get a unique hands-on experience in their time here at LSU. Now let's head to one of my favorite places on LSU's campus. Now we've made it to our final stops here at the LSU Lakes. Uh, to the right of me is Blake Hall, which is the Agriculture Residential College. The Agriculture Residential College is a living learning community in which agriculture students come together uh, their entire freshman year and live on the floors of Blake Hall. Um, behind me is the LSU Lakes, which is a fan favorite here on campus. Personally, it's my favorite, whether I'm going on a run or taking a break from studying. Um, I hope that one day you'll be able to join, uh, and join me in that enjoyment of the lakes uh, when you're here at LSU. Uh, thank you so much for sticking with us to this tour. Uh, we appreciate all uh, the time that you've given us, and we hope to see you real soon here on LSU's campus. Go Tigers!